Hello students. Following question is a two mark question from topic of principal stress and strains from subject of mechanics of material. And in this question, it is said that value of plane strains on sheets are epsilon xx as 350 into 10 to the power minus 6. Epsilon yy is given as minus 150 into 10 to the power minus 6. And gamma xy, that is shear strain, is given as 200 into 10 to the power minus 6. And it is asked that what is the value of maximum principal strain. Now, when we study the relation between principal stress and strain, we generally come across the relation that relates direct stresses with principal stresses. But just like stress transformation equation, here also we have strain transformation equation and from that principal strains comes out as epsilon x plus epsilon y by 2 plus minus where when plus positive sign is considered it gives principal shear strain and when negative sign is considered it gives minor principal shear strain and with positive we get major principal shear not shear major principal strain and minor principal strains so relation is epsilon x plus epsilon y by 2 plus minus under root epsilon x minus epsilon y by 2 square plus gamma by 2 square. The only difference between analog analogy that we study with respect to stress transformation equation that there we use shear stress square but here we use half of shear strain and its square. So this is the only difference between the phase of two formula that we use for finding principal stresses. Since here we are talking about principal strains, so we will be using gamma by 2. Now please mind that here epsilon yy is given as minus 150 into 10 to the power minus 6. So just by substituting the value, we get 350 minus 150 into 10 to the power minus 6 by 2 and epsilon x minus epsilon y by 2 that is 350 minus minus 150 means 350 plus 150 divided by 2 which comes out as 250 that is 500 by 2 250 into 10 to the power minus 6 square plus 100 into 10 to the power minus 6 square because gamma is given as 200 into 10 to the power minus 6 so gamma by 2 comes out as 100 into 10 to the power minus 6 which upon simplification gives the result as 319.25 into 10 to the power minus 6 making C as the best available choice. Hence C is the correct answer for given question. Thank you.